uh, they brought me in and uh, they were like, you're going to play the ghost clown. We want you to audition for it. And I was like, hmm, how do I make this interesting? So I remember going in, I was like, if I were the ghost clown, what would I sound like? And, and what would I, <laughs> how would I do? So I actually channeled a little bit of Ben Vereen and Pippin mm. with that. And, and, and I, and I thought to myself, um, uh, because I was a juggler and I was a circus performer. I knew how to juggle. I learned how to juggle from a guy named Anthony Gatto. His father and him taught me how to juggle when I was doing a show in Branson, Missouri, when I was 17. And they taught me how to juggle clubs and knives and fire and stuff like that. Mm. So I went into the audition with um, uh, three balls and I literally stood there and I was like, and I threw the balls and I was like, and I, and I just kind of like, <laughs> just was messing around. Um, and I, 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 I booked it, but it was because of the physicality I brought to it and, and the, and the uh, distinct way I, I chose to make him sound and act and, um, none of that was scripted it was just all improv really um there was a there was a big part for the ghost clown originally in scooby-doo to uh monsters unleashed it was it was actually substantial same with ernst roll and other characters um i believe originally when i was booked on it i was there for the entire shoot it was like a it, it was for the whole thing and i had test shot i i had uh camera tests and then i had a couple of shoot days actually uh, where I was like, they had me uh, on wires uh, dropping down from the ceiling. And I don't think that was on the camera tests, but I literally, literally was in my full makeup and I was like scaring, uh, I believe it was Fred. Um, but um, I, I was disappointed when it got cut. I, I didn't really, they didn't really, they weren't really clear on what's going on. They just said there's been some creative changes mm -hmm. and come to find out it was, it was, um, I never really got to the bottom of it. Um, I knew they were they wanted to. There was just there was just creative differences be, between the studio and and the and and the creatives. Um, that happens, you know. You just go with the flow. But um, it just definitely um, something where it was a lot of uh, makeup. It was my my makeup. I remember it was six hours, and I'd worked with the same team, Bill Terzakic, and. Um, he was doing my makeup. He was the same. He was, he was the guy who did my makeup for a wrinkle in time. And I worked with him on other projects and he, and he passed away uh, a couple of years ago now. And um, so that makeup was brutal. <laughs> and, um, so I, I probably lucked out by it being cut. Cause I don't know if I would have held up with all that, um, all that prosthetics for months and months. Um, I was I was definitely I remember being very excited to work with Raja and he was a very good director. Ah, magical news, Ben B smile and Red Confetti too. Well, it makes me happy, Sarah. Hi, Raja, go here. Ah.